ryose iyo mbonye abantu baturutse hiryoza minembwe n'ahandi nkawo Any time I see people from Minembwe and the rest of it Muze kumva makuru yaho giye sinigeze ngerayo Abantu gusengera igihugu bakubwira ko uri umunya politiki When they tell you to praise the for nation they say you are a politician Ariko yuda senge igihugu satana akiryo ureba But when you don't pray for the country the devil steals it as you watch Kandi yuje senge kirahinduka And when you pray for it, it is transformed. Don't stop praying until God transforms those you are praying for. Don't stop praying until God has changed the country you are praying for. You know the reason I started telling you those things? I meet, I meet with so many people from your country. And all of them dream of going back to Minembwe. Even some old women can only wait to get back. If you dream about those things. The amazing thing is those in the USA with so much money and houses, they still dream about going back home. And they said, do you want to go back? Pray until God makes it a praise in the earth. Because if you just, because if you just wait and see it, it will happen, but you have to pray for it. I don't know, the intercessors normally pray for Don't stop until God transforms that situation. There are times when people hope. They say, They say we felt that God was about to do something. When God wants to do something, he will do it. Give him no rest. Holy, continue praying until God has done something. Let me tell you. I know many people. I know many people in M23. It's normal. We used to pray for different groups. We used to pray for different groups. We used Every group among us used to pray for their own host. Even now, it's the same case. But Congolese don't fight Congolese. But pray for God to give you leadership. I only teach the intercessors. When you see your pastors growing weary, they are fallen. The devil has taken their water bottle and all their weapons. And they are only there. You are also supposed to be beaten. The weakness of the pastors is the weariness of the intercessors. Now tell me, Today, therefore, we are going to learn. I want to read a few scriptures, but it's not what we are going to learn today. Isaiah chapter 51. Isaiah chapter 51. Anytime I see people from Minembwe and the rest of it, I only hear the news about the place I've not been there. But I've got so many friends 
Some we don't know each other face to face. There is one man I accommodated his son one time. He came to Rwanda, he didn't have a host. And at a conference, I invited him to my house. And his father came to visit. And he lives back in Minembwe. And he said, My brother. I have loved you so much. And when we love a person, we give them a cow normally. Now I give you a cow. And I asked him, Are this cow? I live in Kigali. How will I manage? And he said, No one refuses a cow. In any case, maybe what he held was eaten. Therefore, maybe you'll give it to me one day. One time. But what I love is not that one. I have my friends we fellowship with. And they tell me back home you used to pray so much. A person could go. They used to pray so much back in the fields. And after like three days, they come back home. Anyone who knows such kind of stories? Anyone with a grandfather used to do that? Anyone among us? Others used to jump from one mountain to another. But that is not what I'm going to tell you today. Isaiah chapter 51. Verse 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. Look unto the rock where you are hung, and to the hole of the pit where you are dipped. Amen. Hano, baratu gira ngo, ababanu, bashaki mana bagachira nuka. They tell us these people seek the Lord and are righteous. Ngo, ngiwuche aho mngafuye. Remember where you came from. Ngiwuche ababa banjirishu. Remember those who came before you. Remember your ancestors. Remember what the Lord has done for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the greatest problems among the children of God is going to heaven. If you have a grandfather who used to pray so much and be filled with the Spirit, or who could jump from one mountain to another because of the Spirit, you find them at the side of Jesus and you're not there. Another great thing is to know the reason there was that power. And today there are so many problems. Many people don't think about it normally. In 1994, there was a genocide in Rwanda. One white man found us at the camp. And he said, I pray to God and asked him why you got so many problems like this. And God told me, it's because you didn't pray. And then I thought about it. And I said, the French people don't pray. Why did this happen to them? The Greeks don't pray so much. Why did this happen to them? Even the Americans support homosexuality. Why did this happen to them? And then he said, that's not it. Then I came to ask the Lord. And God told me this. This country. 
this country had a lot of revival that transformed the whole of East Africa this country so much gospel was brought from this place but when you once caused the devil to be ashamed and then you are distracted he left it at that takes revenge God takes his own revenge because people who are once at a powerful place when you are distracted just a little any evangelist among you who preach to people and they get born again any singers who sing and bless the people we told be calm because when you're distracted even for a little while you become distracted even for a while the devil will come and take revenge maybe I'll explain during these days we are together because eternally when God has done something great somewhere the devil turns around and does other bad things look at the tribe of Israel they received a genocide they were in all scattered in all nations but eternally God said when you turn back to me I will give you that blessing again we're in a conference of intercessors and I asked the bishop bishop what should I teach these people? And he told me the verse we chose is Colossians chapter 1 and verse 10. It says that, that you might work worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, be fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. That you might work worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing the knowledge of God. I want to combine these scriptures for this conference of intercessors. Because I used to tell the president earlier that today I'm going to knock on the intercessors. I'll take a cane and cane the intercessors. And then I'm going to leave them like that. But we are just sharing. You know what I want to tell you? These are not the words I'm going to teach you. I'll teach you on intercessors. Because there is something great. And I thank God for the bishops, the apostles, the pastors, and others. Because eternally there is a great problem between the intercessors and the pastors. And the first problem between the two they don't agree on many issues. The reason they don't work together is because the intercessors many times they don't know their value. And the pastors don't know the value of the intercessors. And the intercessors don't know their own value. They don't know even what they're supposed to do for the pastors. They just live like that. One time I tell the intercessors, even back home I normally tell them, sometimes we sleep over in prayers the whole night. And then I tell them, any person who came to sleep over tonight, 
If only God can come and meet us tonight. And choose maybe one among us. And say, explain to me. What, what made you to sleep awake tonight? What are you waiting for? Why did you why did you sleep overnight? Many times when the intercessors come, they say on Friday we have prayers. Gusa. Only that. Ubundi tugira namasengesho iminsi myinshi. In any case we have prayers for many days. Noneho nza kubaza abanyamasengesho. Then I came to ask the intercessors. Nje ntabwo nari ndimo. I was not among them. Ndabwira nise ko mugiye kumara iminsi 3. And I say now it's almost 3 days. Muri bomo rasengera iki? What are you praying for? Se tugiye kweza ubugingo. And they said we are going to cleanse our lives. Ha? Huh? Mujiye kumara iminsi 3 mweza ubugingo. As as you could spend 3 days sanctifying your lives. Kugira ngo mubujyane. To take it to which place? Naze ubugingo muzeze iminsi 3 bwanduye mwaragiye. And I say this life you are cleansing for 3 days when did it become filthy? None se ari umuntu wari wabona umara iminsi 3 muri dushe. Have you seen any person spend 3 days in the bathroom? Ariko wayumbe by the intercessors. They take three days cleansing their lives. Do you normally do that? Perhaps some just came from those prayers. And hearing me telling you this. I'm also among the people who pray. I, I, I wrote a book. Two books. On the topic of prayers. Because I prayed for 40 days without food. Every year I pray for a whole one week without eating. That, that time you eat chicken and meat. I'm in heaven. One time I came from those prayers and a person said, you have missed you for many days. And I said, I answered my God. And I asked me, why are you sick? Why do you feel that a person answers God when they die? Me for God we speak. He my father called me to speak with him for one week and I went to talk to him. Therefore, for many people, the issue of prayer. Personally, I love prayers, I love praying, and I love intercessors. I even love teaching intercessors. But one thing that I found with the intercessors of the church that I lead. Some have become very proud. To a way they feel you can't teach them anything. And then sometimes I ask. Why don't you come and we compete in praying? We leave the food. Take a room. And pray for 40 days and see who will be the strongest among oh, yeah. us. And then they say, no, it's not necessary. That when a person is full of the Holy Spirit, and then I tell them, I was also filled with the Holy Spirit. These days, I'm going to teach the intercessors in line with the life of Jesus. Because when all of us have been called to be intercessors, there is no special calling for intercessors. Every Christian has been called to be an intercessor. But even though all of us pray, there are those that God pulls to himself and put in them a greater burden and they become intercessors as a calling. Amen. Amen. Therefore, I want us today 
tuanze tune tuganire kuri jamu ryitwa kunezeza imana kuko niryo riri mu akorosayi to share on a world that speaks about pleasing god in colossians mere kuri aya magambo mbabwira ibyo tuziga mu buryo bwo kwigisha abanyamasengesho and i'm going to tell you to learn in teaching the intercessors icya mbere tunezeza imana iyo tugendera mu muhamagaro ya duha the first thing we please god when we walk in our calling ushaka kunezeza imana Whoever wants to please the Lord. If God has called you to be a pastor like him. If he has called you to be a singer. Or maybe to be an intercessor. And another thing and another thing. The first thing to please the Lord is to walk in your calling. And this thing God calling. Takes on all the life. Amen. Amen. Jewe ndu mu pastor. Personally he is a pastor. Ariko ndi numugabo w'umugore wanje. But he is a married husband. Ndi numu papa w'abana banje. He is even the father to his children. Ndi ndi numuturage w'u Rwanda. He is even a, a neighbor in Rwanda. Izo identite zose ni umuhamagara. All those identities are callings. He will please the Lord if he is a good husband to his wife. He will please the Lord if he is a good father to his children. He will please the Lord if he is a good pastor to the church he is leading. He will please the Lord being a good Christian to the church. Urabizi araho pastor bamwe mu mbabarira pastor ntuze kundakarira. You know there are some pastors ah biha uburenganzira who give themselves the freedom. Ahubwo ati gyewe kobera ko ndi pastor sinje ntanga icya 10. And they say because I'm a pastor I will not tithe. Ahubwo ati ngo nturi umukristo mwiza mu itorero ryawo. In that case you are not a good Christian in your church. Kobera yuko mbere yuko uba pastor uri umukristo mu itorero because before you become a pastor you are a christian in a church you are supposed to be a good christian in the church at the first when you tell the christians to give the tithe you first give your own tithe when you say you are going to offer you be the first one to offer and when you tell the Christians who are going to pray, be the first one in the prayers. Be in everything because it is within your calling. The second thing we please the Lord. When you walk like he expects you to do. There is a great problem we have. A very great one. Christians these days. They don't walk like Jesus wants them to walk. They dress like they wish. They speak like they want to. When they want, they fornicate. They drink alcohol like they want. Even they come to church after doing all that. And they say Jesus died for everything. Amazing. Jesus didn't die for you to become a drunkard. Jesus didn't die for you to become a prostitute. That teaching in Rwanda has become so great. About, about the grace and the forgiveness of sins. One boy told me because I had gone into those teachings. And then I told him, let me show you how you deceive yourself. Where our church is located. When you cross the road. A place called the corridor. There are so many prostitutes. And I told him to go to the corridor. And when you meet with a girl who is HIV positive, HIV will not fail to come to you because Jesus has died for you. Even though you pray, he will not heal you because he saved you. But because that teaching about the grace will take you not only to fire but to death. 
ariko hari ukuntu tugomba kugenda tukanezeza imana but is we are supposed to walk and please the lord nabanyamasengesho hari ukuntu bagomba kwitwara kugira ngo bavemo abanyamasengesho banezeza imana even the intercessors are supposed to carry themselves in a certain way to please the lord byo nabyo tuzabireba we shall look into that icya gatatu the third thing tunezeza imana iyo dukora neza umurimo ya duhaye We please the Lord when we work well for the job that he gave us. Harumurimo imana yahaye abanyamasengesho. There is a work that God has given to the intercessors. Kandi uwo murimo utembuva mu muhamagaro wa. That work work flows from their calling. Iyo rero ugendeye mu murimo wa ukawukora neza. When you walk in your job therefore do it perfectly. Nibuzumva imana kugira ngo ikaze mugarago mwiza kuko wakoze ibyo nakubwiye gukora. That time God will say welcome good servant you did what I told you to do. Haleluya. Haleluya. Hanyuma ibindi tuzagenda nzagenda mbabwira ibyo turimo kwiga kuko izo izo ngingo eshatu nizo zizava menyigisho tuziga muri iyi minsi. These are the three main points we shall base everything during these days. Amen. 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 Ariko mbanze ngarucye abona tangiriye. Back to where we started. Mwibuke igitare mwasatuweho. Remember the rock you are seen from. Mwibuke basogukuruza abana. Remember your ancestors. Mwibuke baso wanyu na baso gukuruza basengaga imana bakaguruka. Remember your ancestors used to pray to the Lord and fly. Gideon yigeze kubwira imana ayibura ngo ariko mana. Gideon one time told the Lord. Ngo bajye batubwira imbaraga baso gukuruza bahawe. They tell us about the power that our ancestors received. Ngo none zambaraga zagiye he. Ariko yuda senge igihugu satana kiryo ureba. But when you don't pray for the country the devil steals it as you watch. Kandi yuje senge kirahinduka. And when you pray for it it transforms. Kamanze mbaho buhamya butoya. Let me give you a short testimony. Gewe nakijwe kubera amasengesho. I was born again because of praying. Oh ubundi kubwa kavukire. In any case. Mvuka mu muryango w'abagatulika. I am born a Catholic. No kwiga nize mu seminari y'abagatulika kuko ndi muto yanumva gashaka kuba padiri. When I was a young boy I wanted to become a father. I studied at the seminary. Ariko ngeze mu mwanyuma. But in my last year nari mfite imyaka 19. I was 19 years of age. Numva nti bikijyanye. I felt a different thing. Numva nti bikunda. It's not possible. Ko buriye ku myaka 19 umuntu abamaze kuba umusore ufite mutubaraga. A 19 years you are a young man full of strength. Mumva mu mirwangi harimo imitingito myinshi. And in my body I felt so many different things. Kandi nare wanze nkabona inkumi zose zabaye nziza. And outside all the girls were beautiful. Abana se iyi mitingito iri muri jewe. And I asked myself all these feelings within me. Naziriya nkumi zisakuriya. And those beautiful girls outside. Naburiya bupadiri butarongora. And that fatherhood that was waiting for me. Ko numva bitazahura. Why do I feel these are very conflicting? Ndabirekanigira muri university. Then I went to university. Ngeze muri university nsanga abantu bafite freedom yo kwigendera uko bashaka. At the university I felt so much freedom to do what you want. Urumva mvuye muri discipline imeze nka gereza yo mu seminary. Came from a disciplinary school. Ngiye ahantu none wo freedom yuzuye uno kuko ibyo ushaka. Now I'm at a place where there is so much freedom to do what I want to do. Kandi ufite na cash kumufuka. And I have some money with me. Sinigeze mbu musinzi. I was never a drunkard. Ariko nanywa ginzoka. But I used to drink. Nakundaga kubyina. I love drinking so much. Njo bara oh yeah kubyina not drinking. Oh, sorry, sorry. Dancing. I, I love dancing. Nakundaga kubyina ntushobora kubyumva. I love dancing so much. Ubwo nibindi bijyana na kubyina. Other things came around. Nabyo bitangira kuziramo. They came around. Noneho ariko nkagira umukobwa twuzura. But I had a special girl. Nyina yari umurokore wo mu itoro ryitwa DPL. The man that was a born again of the Adepel church. Abawaye mu Rwanda murayize. Many of us know the place. Ngiye abantu mu Adepel vyewe. Uwo mu mama yambaraga itambaro nari ntarabona umusatsi we. And the people of this church are very strict. Noneho iwe akaba umuntu ugira hospitality nyinshi ugira urugwiro rwinshi and she was a very hospitable woman abantu bose bazaga bavuye hehe bacumbikaga kwa Louise yitwaga Louise she could host so many people who were passing by akagira abantu bavaga ahantu hitwe kabera 
And there were people coming from Ikabera. They used to love coming to our home. When I found them to this place, it was always an issue. We used to sit and discuss. And I was opposing so much the gospel. About these things of protestants getting born again. And then I used to speak so much. And this woman hated me coming to a place when she has visitors. And I used to visit her many times over the weekend. Because her daughter was my fiancée and we stayed in the same place. And she used to tell her, even though this boy speaks like this, is a good person. But she could say that boy is a pagan. Then one time I found a man. We discussed with others, but he was sitting quietly watching me. And then he said, young boy, make noise. But in you, I see a servant of God. And he told this woman, do you see this pagan you always talk about? You know the reason God brought him here? It's so that I can pray for him to get born again and serve the Lord. And that woman understood. And since that day, she started praying for me. 78. 78. Mirongu ringuini chenda afatuusa. Seventy nine zero. Mirongu nani ubusa. Eighty zero. Mirongu nani narimwe ubusa. Eighty one still nothing. Mirongu nani nakaviri ubusa. Eighty two still nothing. Ndara angiri njia kui jisha muri university. Then I went to teach at the university. No neombo mupagani ufite na mafarang. Then I became a pagan with money now. Mbano mupagani no neufite na katai toko ni professor. A pagan with the title of professor. Mche churadi hewa. And this woman Go to desperate. got very desperate. But that year, after that year, I received a letter, a very small letter, written in French for the reasons of the government. You are no longer at the university. Go and teach at the secondary school. Three, third year. Not because I'm a bad teacher. But because the government took that decision on persecution of the Rwandis. And I went to that school. And everything to me became nothing. I started reading the Bible. Then I got born again. I started preaching the gospel. Because of the prayers of one woman. And she has told me, I put your name in every other church. Unless they don't pray. I tell people, tell people maybe it's the reason I've matured so fast. I never backslid at one time. It's 39 years of salvation now. And he's 64 years old. He has no program to backslide while an old man. Oh yeah. Not at all. If he didn't backslide at 25 years of age, and neither at that is something, neither at 40, neither backslide at 50, he will not backslide at 60 either. Because there is Jesus that I have seen, and he has pleased me. And he has pleased me. But I want in my old age I want to work in the promises of God. Because in Psalm 79 Psalm 92 
says that the righteous will continue to be cleansed even in their old age. They shall have a good health because they were planted in the courts of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I tell people when I become an old man, when I cannot walk so much, when I shall be walking with a king, even though I teach only once in a conference, but I pray every day because I don't have to walk while praying. Because the calling of being an intercessor is the easiest of all the callings. Because even though, even though they lock in prison, you can shake the world while still locked up. Even though you are very sick and in bed, as long as your brain is connected to Jesus, you can still shake the world. I can see that among all the people, no one is as old as I am. I have not found any old man among you. Even the old women. In any case, when you grow old, I used to be very sleepy. I could sleep at eight and wake at six Straight. without even being awake at night. But now when I sleep for four and a half hours, I wake up for me to fall asleep again. It takes another almost three hours. Then it's already morning. And I hear people complaining that they lack sleep, but in any case, when you don't have the sleep, there is a chance for you to speak with God. Shake the world because you are not very sleepy. But because people have not been taught. I hear many people complaining because they are not sleepy anymore. I say when the sleep is gone, the devil will be very troubled. And the devil knows this. When he finds you praying for one hour, he brings back your sleep. He wants you to sleep because you're making him trouble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know when you wake up at 3? Around 2 p.m., 2.30. That time, all the sorcerers and workers of the kingdom of darkness. An intercessor awake at three troubles the kingdom of Satan. I don't know what normally happens at the three hour. And that time you hear all the voices speaking. You feel the heaven is quiet. Outside it's very cold. That time the devil is working. Even the thieves still at around that time. But when intercessor is awake at that hour, he troubles the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But people, because they have not been taught, when they lack sleep, they only turn and turn in bed. But for you, anytime you lack sleep, connect to heaven and continue with the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Without taking so much time, though I have two hours, but it's still a long way. Let's learn about something called the calling for intercessors. The calling of the intercessors. Go to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 
As I wrote so many times about intercessors, Isaiah 62, from verse 6, says, Nshizabarinzi kunyiche zawe, niwaza achete kakumangwa na nijoro, ye mga vivu tuite kani mga tuuzi. Kani ni muka muhe mire kujezuga za komezi Yerusalemu, aka hindurishi mwe mwisi. Says, I have set watchmen upon the walls, O Jerusalem. We shall never hold their peace day nor night. You that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish until he makes Jerusalem praise on earth. Hallelujah. Amen. You can take Jerusalem and put anything you want. You can put the name of a person, the name of a church, the name of your family, you can put the name of your country, you can put the name of your workplace, but this was shows us how God thinks about intercessors, because when God speaks about intercessors, he called them watchmen, O Jerusalem, I have put watchmen upon the walls. You who remember the Lord, never rest. Give him no rest. I love the way the English Bible says, and give him no rest. Come to the Lord always, give him no rest. Until he makes Jerusalem praise on earth. Maybe there is a problem with a, a parent with a traveling child. Or maybe a woman with a husband that is troubled. Or the other way around, it's possible. Or children with a very hard parent. Or a pastor is trying to raise a church. Remove Jerusalem and put any other name and say, I put watchmen upon the walls. You who remember the Lord, don't be silent. And until it changes, say what you want to become a praise in the earth. Remember, a woman prayed for me who is not even my mother. And what will make you love this girl did not become my wife. Because that time when I left the university, those organizations died with that. Uh, my plan to marry died. And the girl said, I see you're not in a hurry to get married, so she got married at another place. And for the girl, boys with the same problem, please take heart. When a girl leaves you, say, even Antoine, her girlfriend, his girlfriend left him. Nuko. That's it. She prayed for me and said, God, I will not rest until this man becomes a servant for you. For six years. And on the seventh year, I got born again. One day, I sat with her. I sat with her. She told me, I love you like my child, but a special child. Because for my biological children, I bought them for nine months. But I carried you in my heart for seven good years. A parent will tell you that I've carried you in my heart for seven years. We will know the meaning of prayer. 
Don't stop praying until God has done it. Don't stop praying until God transforms those you are praying for. Don't stop praying until God has changed the country you are praying for. You know the reason I started telling you those things? I meet, I meet with so many people from your country. And all of them dream of going back to Minembwe. Even some old women can only wait to get back. If you dream about those things. The amazing thing is those in the USA with so much money and houses, they still dream about going back home. And they said, though you want to go back, pray until God makes it a praise in the earth. Because you just, because if you just wait and see it, it will happen, but you have to pray for it. I don't know the intercessors normally pray for. Don't stop until God transforms that situation. There are times when people hope. They say, they say we felt that God was about to do something. When God wants to do something, he will do it. Give him no rest. Only continue praying until God has done something. I'll give you another testimony concerning the same. In 94, at the time the genocide came, is the time you see a small thing growing, see it growing some more, you see a small dog becoming a big dog, a very big one. We saw the genocide coming slowly. Growing and growing. 1994 was a very bad thing in our eyes. And we entered into prayers. And prayed. And God told us. If I close the heavens that there will be no rain. When I command these things to happen, when I send locusts to my people, my people who are called by my name, when they humble themselves and stop their bad deeds and pray, seek my face, I'll hear them from heaven, forgive them their sins, and heal their nation. But on 5th April, I remember that time we were writing. There was something small. And we said, tomorrow we are sending you to this place. Then we are going to I mean, we are going to spread it all over the country. And ask all the Christians to kneel and pray for this nation until it changes. But on 5th April, it was on a Tuesday. On Wednesday. The person who was supposed to take those reflets. I mean, he went to print it. No, no. Printing house. And whoever was the manager of that place put it on the table. That is on Thursday, Wednesday. And he said, by Monday, you will have this thing. On that day, they shot on a plane. 
And the genocide started. All the people with me that night, they died. And after the genocide, I was saved. I went to that printing house. And I found at the manager's office, the leaflet was still on the table. And I said, we are going to start from where we stopped. Printing leaflet. Print this leaflet for me. We are going to continue from where the devil has stopped. We mobilized prayers in that country. Those, even these books I tell you I wrote came from these prayers. Because there is nothing in Rwanda that I didn't sleep in teaching the intercessors. We prayed in the fields. We prayed on the roads. We prayed in houses. We slept in vehicles. Then God transformed everything anew. When people see Rwanda transforming, they see good leadership. But they don't, they forget the prayers that call for that leadership. Those want to go back home to Congo. Let me tell you. I know many people. I know many people in M23. It's normal. We used to pray for different groups. We used to pray for Every group among us used to pray for their own host. Even now, it's the same case. But Congolese don't fight Congolese. But pray for God to give you leadership. For God to touch the hearts of people. There are times we pray like people and receive answers like people. Being God answering the, the Congolese. M23 will be over. And the same case for you, the other group will be finished. Means we don't love your country because the same people dying in your country. And God does not want people fighting. But I don't think I'm against anyone. But I say, God, these people, whatever they are fighting for, give it so that this country can know peace. Let these Congolese, whatever their names are, a good nation like Congo, a country with so much blessings, it has become a place of confusion. I pray for God to give you a suitable leader who loves all the countrymen. We have prayed and seen this. If you pray for the same, you will receive it. God will bring a leader he has chosen for himself. Whichever way he will pass through. Because God works when his people pray. But many times we don't do our work. And when we do it, we do it the wrong way. Let's speak the truth. How many people of this country in their hearts? Because even though you are blessed to leave the place, I confirm you can live better than you are here. Being a refugee is different from being in your home country. Even though you're in the USA but a refugee, you're still a refugee. 
Whether you have a lot of money, still a refugee. But his heart he knew that misses home. Even though you don't go back, but the people there live well. That is how you know what to pray for. And pray like God wants you to pray. In any case, the job of the intercessors. Say God has made us watchmen. Watchmen. But the problem with the watchmen. When the watchmen are not awake, the thieves come and steal. When the watchmen are not awake, when the watchmen are not awake, the birds eat from the fields. For people who have been in the fields where you farm maize or rice, they put watchmen to take care of the flesh, of the rice. But when you're distracted, the birds come and eat everything. When you're distracted, the devil comes and steals from us as well. There is a reason in Isaiah. 62. God says to the intercessors, I have put you on the walls. In many institutions, I put a watchman on a higher house. What is the work of this watchman? They look into what's coming from afar and call for help. Whether they are good or bad, they know it beforehand and inform the rest. Isaiah 21. As I wrote so many times on praying, and Isaiah 21. Verse 11. He called to me out of Sire, watchman, what of the night, watchman, what of the night. The intercessors, please wave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the question the world is asking. You watchman. What does God say of this night? What of this night? In, in any case, they're supposed to be asking us, well, does God say about these things when, when they come to an end? And Say, I am alert. If you want to ask anything, come and ask me. Tell this intercessor. If only someone asked you, what is God saying? What will you tell these people? I don't fake things. In these days, we have a problem with the prophets. A very serious problem of the prophets. Those who don't listen to God. But they are like sorcerers. God has told me something about you. And they say, it's okay. You are going to receive a visa. And you wait for the visa for so many years. I can also prophesy the same things. A person tells me I'm going to board a flight and I'm very tired of hearing this news. I wear shoes when going to the USA and I get there and my feet are so big. 
Nava yo nagera mu Rwanda nkamara nk'ibyumweru bibiri ntasinzira kubera jet lag. Back in Rwanda I spent like 2 weeks without sleep because of jet lag. Ati munyurire ndege. Ibyo babibwira abana nti babibwira abasasa. You can tell this to the young boys but not to the old men like us. Akaza ati mbonye imana igwa ikimodoka kinini. They say God has given you a big car. Semana, urampa ikimodoka kinini ngo nyikoreshe. And as God, what I'm going to do with this big car that you're giving me? Nubundi singenda na maguru ufite akamodoka gatoya ngenda. In any case I have a small car that I use. Kandi ntacyo kawaye. And there's no problem with it. Ariko kubera ko ndeba akabona ngo nagumbye ko mfite ikimodoka. But because they see me with a big car. Nana tekereza ko gihe ubundi bimodoka binini ndabikunda. If only they know that I don't even love these big cars. Ayo kubona kagabo kangana nange ariko ubona arabyushye ubwo nsigaye ndi inzovu y'imirindi ubundi nayo gatoya kuruta hanga Long ago it to be very small but now I'm growing big Ngaho tekereza ko wangana gutya narongeye 2012 Think about big things Ubwo nanganaga bitarajyaho I've added 12 kilograms to my weight Ubundi umuntu ngana nganya kenewe kimodoka kinini ngo kimarishe In any case a person like me why do I need a big car What for Bakabimpanurira they prophesy this to me. Ariko hano uyu ngo yaravuze ngo muri inzi we tubwire. But this one says watchman tell us. Iri joro bigeze he. What of this night? Ni muhanure ibihindura ubuzima bw'abantu. Prophesy what transforms the lives of people. Ni muhanure ibihindura ubuzima bw'itorero. Transform what prophesy what transforms the lives of the church. Ni muhanure ibihindura ubuzima bw'igihugu. Even what transforms the life of this country. Muve mu bintu by'ubupfumu. Don't be like sorcerers. Chane, chane yuko, In any case, there are those who prophesy and they ask for money. I have taught many prophets to stop killing their gifts. When you prophesy to people, they shall bring the money even though you don't ask for it. You know a person who calls you. I have your message from God. Send me 100,000 to live for my wife and give me the ticket. I'll come and tell you the message. That is not a prophet. That is an hungry person. This watchman stands and tells the people. The morning comes and the night as well. If you want to inquire, inquire. This is the work of the intercessors. Watching the things. And listen to God. And ask him. He gives you an answer. And you give it to the church. He gives you an answer. You give it to a country. He gives you an answer. You give it to a family. Because you've listened to God. Hallelujah. I don't contradict prophecies. I accept it. But we are to be but we are supposed to be very keen on our gifts. Because people are always before the Lord. The devil is prepared to make them fall. Another watchman that I love so much. A man called Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Chapter 2. And verse 1 says this. I will stand upon my watch. And send me upon the tower. And will watch what he will say unto me. And I will answer what I am reproved. This is the keenness of a watchman. Habakkuk says, I'll stand on my tower. I will stand upon the tower and watch to see where he is. He is sitting and seeking the Lord. 
ejo tureba umutima w'umurinzi ariko kwica rugashaka imana Tomorrow shall watch the heart of us over watchman. Ugatega matwa kumva icyo kubwira. But listening to a watchman and what he says. Nicyo uzabwira abantu nuva imbere ye. That is what you shall tell the people when you come before out of the Lord. Ni wagiye imbere y'Imana hari cyo ugomba gukura yo. When you go before the Lord you are supposed to come back with something. Iyo ufite icyo usengera tegereza Imana ikubwira icyo wasengera ikubwira icyo iki kivugaho. When you praying for something wait for God to tell you something on what you are praying for. Hari nigiye nta kikubwira gihambaye. Sometimes it says a very simple thing. Nigeze gukora amasengesho y'iminsi 40. One time I prayed for 40 days. Ntaryo. Without food. Mwamaze. Only water. Ariko mbaze mbwira abantu bazashaka gukora ayo masengesho uzayakora ari Imana yabikubwiye. For the people want to pray these prayers, make sure God has told you to do so. Hari ahantu ugera inza rika kurya ukicuza icyatumye uvuka. Is a time hanga be to and Hejuri y'iminsi 22. About 22 days. Shora kwisabira gupfa. You can ask for death on yourself. On my 19th day of praying. I was very hungry at that time. Where I was praying at. I was in an upper room with a fence separating us from the neighbors. Hirya umugore wahabaga The woman who lived on the other side. Buri mugoro. Every evening. Yateka ibiryo bikaranze. She used to cook food. Fried. Ya karanga inyama nkumva nasimbukura kuta nka musaba ngo ampiryo. And I was to feel like jumping over the fence and ask for some food. Cyari umva cyari igihano iminsi 20 y'igihano wumva umuntu urukarango ruzamuka kandi nzari gutema mara. It was like a punishment for those days hearing the aroma but not being able to eat. Ariko Bije ku munsi wa 19 wa nigiye kongeraho ibiri senge 22 numwe nka Daniel. On 19th day I say I pray for 21 days again like Daniel. Mbona imani tumye umuhanuzi wari yaruvuye no mukobwa wari wavuye hano Nairobi. And God said a prophet it was a lady from Nairobi. Pastor we twari twarahuri ahantu. We had met sometimes back. Pastor we na wari umukobwa. With her pastor. Noneho aramubwira ati nujya mu Rwanda. And he said when you go to Rwanda. Nubona And you find yourself close to where pastor lives please greet him for me None yigeze ku munsi wa 19 abaza umu pastor yari yaje gusura On 19th day she asked the pastor she'll come to visit Ati umuntu witwa Antoine uramuzi You know a man called Antoine And he said yes Ati pastor wange yaramwe ngo nzamusuhuze He said my pastor sent me to him to greet him Ati none imana yambwiye ngo mushake And now God has told me to look for him ngo mubwire ngo mubwire And tell him And he said he's is my friend I even know where he lives and works. Barazan. We came. Baravuga ati ariko ari mu masengesho ntabwo yakira abantu. And he told her he is praying I don't think you will receive any people. Baravuga ati sindi uvuga hano ntamuhaye ubutumwa Imana yampaye. But she said I must give him the message from God. Baraza barabimbira. Then they came and told me the same. Baravuga ni mure cyaza ndeba. Then I let the girl come in. She told me God has sent me to tell you. Continue in prayers. And conclude what he told you to. But I prayed for those 40 days so it was hard. That time I came back with so many things. I still walk in some of them today. Nangaga igi pastor, mbaze mbabwire kimwe muri byo. Nangaga igi pastor nk'icyo mutarahora. I used to hate pastoralism so much. Nari umuvuga butumwa. I was an evangelist. Uzwi. A well known. Ariwe mwe igi pastor. Ni ngo kugufata bakakuzirika amaguru. But for a pastor I was not very okay with it. Noneho kandi ngumva ba pastor, nanya ngumva nsha ba pastor ntabwo bahembwa neza. And I could feel that pastors were not well paid. That time I had a good salary. Another thing, these pastors, they are always moving. Especially back in the USA when I went there of getting married. God told me to go to the other pastors. But the good thing in me. When Jesus tells me to go and kill myself. 
I'll ask Jesus, have you said I commit suicide? And he tells me, yes, it's me. I'll say, okay, because you said it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> no, he could come <laughs> and say, I was <laughs> only trying to one thing I told Jesus when I got born again, I wrote him a letter. Thank you for dying for me. Thank you for forgiving all my sins. Now, starting today, everything you will command me to do, whatever it is, wherever you send me to, I I will do it. Only speak and I will hear. And when you feel I don't understand, repeat it. And that's how I am. He will tell me to leave the microphone and go home. I tell you, Jesus has told me to go back home. It's over here. That time he said it and I did it. He used to tell me, and I could refuse many times. That time I went to bishop and said, I want to become a pastor now. Then he asked, how did this happen? I told you, Jesus, I not told me yet. And now Jesus has said it. I'm a pastor. And I became a pastor. And and other things. Habakkuk says, I'll stand on the tower. Listen. And wait for what he will tell me. For what I prayed about. When we pray these prayers. It is a conference for the intercessors. We go back without hearing anything from God. Because we have not asked for anything. What are you putting before the Lord? And wait for an answer from him. Abakuk says, we, I'm going to stand and wait. Listen to what you will tell me on what I complain to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tomorrow we shall speak about prayers of complaining. When the people of God take something that is great and bring it before the Lord. There are many things to share. We shall cry for our children who are hard headed. And these single people will pray for their singlehood. Ah. A single man was not complained to God. I don't know. So, to go on back with Chara, to get the Jerizimana to convince you to give one of the more barins. The job of the intercessors is to sit and wait for what God will say. No, no, Mukuru, are you? Therefore, the president of the intercessors. What to me and go again rich? What did you call them to complain about? To lament about? You and again rich? I'm going to lament about what I'm going to do. I'm going to do. I only want you to understand your calling and everything else will be solved. Because there is something I hate nowadays. When you are an evangelist and people love you, you only live in that fire of being loved and forget that is what God called you for. God did not call me for people to love me. He called me to teach them and transform them. He didn't call me to come and be clapped by people. Because the class belongs to the Lord. But we also take part of it. The donkey that carried Jesus is one that stepped on the clothes on the floor. But it was for Jesus, not for the donkey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have come, tell for God to answer anything that will come to lament about for these three days in this conference. 
Iryo ni somo twigira kuri haba kuki. That is a great lesson we learn. Nzahagarara ku munara wanje. I'll stand on my tower. Ndindira icyazambwe. And wait for what you will tell me. Kandi haba kuki yari yaganye ikintu gikomeye cyane. And Habakkuk was lamenting about a great Muzi, thing. Murebe gice cy'ambere. Look in chapter 1. Yaravuze ngo uwiteka we umurongo wa kabiri. Nzata kutanyumva ngeze ryari. Ngutakira iby'urugomo ruriho ntubikize. Niki gituma unyereka gukiranirwa ukareba iby'ubugoryi. Kuko kurimbuka n'urugomo biri imbere yanje kandi hari n'intonga nya handutse n'imivurungano. Urumva icyo yatakiraga kirumvikana. What was lamenting about is something great. For his country. Ubusambanyi gukiranirwa ibintu uzageza ryari ngutakira ntugira icyo bikora. How long will I cry unto thee and you will not save me? Amaze kuvuga aravuga ati none ubwo maze gusuka maganya yanje. Then he said now that I've complained to the Lord. Ngiye guhagarara ku munara wanje. Going to stand on my tower. Ndindi icyo azambwira. And wait for what he will tell me. Kubwibi na muganye. About what I complained to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is praying, a powerful prayer. I'm concluding. Let me see the consequences of the destruction of intercessors. The watchmen in the Bible are only distracted people. Let me take four examples. The first one is Adam and Eve. When you check in Genesis, chapter 2, verse 15, the Lord said unto Adam, God put them in the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. You're supposed to preach to the church, but at the same time protect it. Same to our family, are supposed to work for our families, but protect them at the same time. Same to our countries, we're supposed to pray for them and protect them as well. But because we are distracted like Adam and Eve, Satan the devil comes and steals from us. Adam and Eve are distracted. Satan and the devil came and deceived them. Eden was destroyed. Eden, in any case, is a great image. Eden was the home of Adam. Eden. Eden was the nation of Adam. Eden was the church of Adam because that's where I used to meet with God. To dress it and to keep it. Three things we are supposed to take care of and protect. Eden was the home of Adam and Eve. Eden was the country of Adam and Eve. Eden was the church of Adam and Eve. That's where God used to meet them. But those three things. Let me ask the people in this place. It's not a must you answer me. How many times do you pray for the church? Don't raise your hands. But you are all Christians. How many times do you pray for this country and the country you came from? How many times do you pray for your families? In any case, people pray, but they don't know how they are praying. I'm supposed to be watchmen. When you wake up in the morning, say your children by name. By name. If you have grandchildren, put them inside. Whenever I pray, I pray for those who have not been married yet. 
umwe n'umwari mu muri université undi ni umunyeshuri undi ni umukozi mu ki muri company one is a professor in the university one is a student one works in a company abasengera ngo imana ibarinde mu buseri bateri bwabo i pray for god to protect them in their singlehood abasengera ngo imana izabahe abafasha babakwiriye and i pray for them to receive good helpers abasengera ngo imana ibazamure mu mirimo bakora and for god to elevate them in their work ibarindiraho bagenda mu busore bwabo to protect them in their youth asengera bafite ingo i pray for those who have families nabana babo nkabavuga mu mazina even their children i speak them by name je no mugore wanje me and my wife kuva dushakanye since we got married tumaze imyaka 32 tubana it's now 32 years nta munsi nzi there's no day that i know twari twaryama tudasenze that we have slept without praying tudasenganye without praying together iyari usenze mbere dutangiye if she prays beforehand tumara gusoma bibiliya kawa rije usenga after read the bible it's me who prays ibyo tubikora ni mugoro bakuko ubundi mu gitondo tuba twiruka tujya mu kazi we do it in the evening because in the morning we are busy going to work mugitondo tubyutse every morning when we wake up nkabarinzi like watchmen first thing i do cyambere nkora the first thing i do nsohuza umugore wanje i greet my wife twarangiza and then twicara mu gitanda we sit on the bed tugasenga and pray usenzembere whoever prays before the other ashimira imana thank god ijoro turangije umunsi mushya dutangiye for the night and the new day icyo tujihuriraho kuko nuri busenge bwa kabiri naho gomba kubikora even the one who prays next is supposed to pray for the same usenze bwa mbere whoever prays first asengera umuryango prays for the family abana bose all the children abo twabyaye those who have given birth to abo twareze those who have brought up nabo twacumbikiye even those who have hosted nabo twakoresheje those who have used even tukabasengera we pray for all of them mumazina by name abamaze kubyara abana nabo tukabashyiramo those who have children we also pray for the same tukasengera abavandimwe bacu we pray for our relatives n'imiryango yabo and their families niya dushingiye even those who united us niyo twashingiye even those that have married nabana bawo even their children nabuzukuru bafite their grandchildren ariko ariko bakuko ari benshi but because there are so many tubavuga muri rusange we speak them in general hanyuma twarangiza then tugasengera ho dukora we pray for our workplaces ngo niba ari madam wasenze asengera ho akora if it's my wife she prays for our workplace asengera naho nkora even my workplace tugasengera nabo dukora nabuzu even the workers colleagues we arrangez and then after that wonda agafataho another continues agasengera itorero praise for the church agasengera ni gihugu praise for the country hanyuma tuvuga ngo amen then we say amen ni buri minota 40 for maybe 40 minutes every day every day tukayishyiramo we pray kuko turabarinze because we are watchmen na ni mugoro batukunge in the night we do the same bitumuhora ni uwo mutima utwaye itorero urabizi it makes you remain with that burden umutambyi wo mwisezerano rya ke the priest in the old testament kandi bibiliya tubwira ngo imana yatugize abatambyi b'ubwami the bible says god has made us priests in the imana kingdom imana yaranze nazi imbere yanje he said when he comes before me ajaza yamba ikanzuye there he come with his clothing hano ku mutima on his heart ngo azashyiremo akantu ka effort put an effort on it bakwikiremo amabuye 12 yanditse wa mazina ya israel and names of the 12 tribes tribes of israel no kurutugurwe and on his shoulder imiryango itandatu buryo imiryango itandatu ibumoso six tribes on the left six tribes on the right bashirema amabuye yanditse wa mazina ya bwa bwoko have stones of all those tribes by name uzi cyo bivuga do you know the meaning of this ugize imbere y'Imana the way you come before the lord utwaye ubwoko bwawe ku mutima bring your tribe in the heart ugize imbere y'Imana come before the lord utwaye imitwaro yabo kurutu with your burdens on the shoulders imani kavuga ngo yes uri ya muntu no murinzi. And God will say, "Where is this man is a watchman?" And a person who does this work well. Imani mukundo rukundo rudasanzwe. God loves him abnormally. Kuko muri buka muri Ezekiel igice cya 9. Because in Ezekiel chapter 9, Imana yohereje abamarayika babiri. God sent two angels. Nyongo gende uce mu murwa. They go pass through the city. Ngukubite ntugira imbabazi. And hit everyone without mercy. Nguhere no munzu yuwiteka. Start from the house of the Lord. Ngwariko ibwira undi marayika. But he told another angel. Go 
Go and pass by. Put a sign on the forehead. For the people who lament about what they see and what they hear. These are the intercessors. To put a sign. And he told the angel who was supposed to strike. Strike the whole city. But those people with a sign. Don't touch them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are people who God loves. And all the reason he loves them so much. After Jesus had saved us. He became an intercessor. He became an intercessor. He sat at the right hand of God praying for us. When he sees you doing what he loves doing, he says, this is mine. This is my church. My heart in his are one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know, want to become special people for God? If you want to become a special child before God, do what God wants you to do. Be pleased in what God is pleased in. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Then, as we conclude, that was the first distracted man called Adam. The rest we shall not read as The second man who was so distracted is a man called Joshua. Joshua left the Israelites. And God told him to make sure he does not make any agreements with those foreigners. But when he came to this country, the Gibeonites came to him they came with so much pride. They took their shoes and wore very old shoes. They took old bread. Even their water bottles were very old. They came pulling their feet and said, we come from very far. <laughs> Just say, are you sure you are not coming from here? Said, even this bread. Say, look at our shoes. Look at the bread we have. Then he trusted them without first asking the Lord. After they made their agreements, covenants. He found they were living very nearby. A place you can walk. A place you can walk for like three days or so. Then he asked, Why did you lie to me? We wanted to live and now we live that is upon you. He was distracted. Watchmen who are distracted. Let me conclude on these words. Very great words. Still in Isaiah. I told you Isaiah wrote so many things about intercessors. Isaiah 56. Isaiah this is what happens when the intercessors, the watchmen, are sleeping. Chapter 9. Or you beast of the field. Come to the boar. Or beast in the forest. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. Pastors. This is why we have a problem. This is where the problem is. His watchmen are blind. They all are ignorant. Means that these intercessors were not trained. They don't know how to do their job. They don't know. 
the consequence from bees. All the bees in the fields and the bees in the forest come to the boar because their watchmen are blind, they are foolish. But the things being said here, these watchmen are shocking. The first thing, they are blind. They are blind. They don't see. They can't see at all. They can't see. The second thing, they are ignorant. Even though they see, they don't understand. The third one, they are all dumb dogs, they can't bark. Means that even though they see, they can't complain that a problem is not coming. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. There are times you sleep. One man, John, wrote the book about the sojourner. There is also another book he wrote by that name. Uh, battle of Man's Soul is the battle of the heart of man. The soul of a man was a city. Protected by a man called that. No, no, conscience. And this man, he fell asleep. And the enemy of the soul of man called Apollon. He came and captured that city. And then when he awoke, the watchman, he found man has been captured. Then he went crazy. He is speaking at a time when he is supposed to be quiet. And he was quiet when he was supposed to speak. There is a time you keep quiet yet you are supposed to be speaking. In other cases we speak when we are not supposed to be. Let me tell you this. There is a time people get into prayers and God speaks some things. Even they write it down. But they don't tell it to anyone. Even in and prayers, they say they are great secrets God has told us. Remember the verse that we read? God told him to go write down what he is saying and write it well so that whoever reads them can hear and understand and do it very fast. Speak. Go and speak. When God speaks, he's telling you to go and tell them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But these watchmen were very distracted. They sleep, lie down, and laugh to slumber. Even the greedy dogs are like this. Number one, number two, number three, number four, When God says, My people, they are ignorant, they are blind, they are like dogs, and He says, Now they are greedy. Greedy intercessors are very many nowadays. We are supposed to protect the city, the village. We are supposed to pray for people. We are supposed to start anew. Oh yeah. Freely we have been, we have received, freely we should give. So, this is a great thing for the intercessors that God has called. For the intercessors, therefore, this is your job. Let me conclude on this piece of news. Uh, 
awe ari muri Samuel muri buka hari iyi umwami Sauli yagiye guhiga David mu ishamu one time Saul went after David in the fields mu butayu bwa Duram in the wilderness of Duram no no bagezeyo Sauli yarananiwe ningabo z'ibihumbi bitatu Saul had a host of 3000 men bararyama barasinzira and they all fell asleep bira ntangarira David Therefore, David. David, we are going to see the characteristics. David asked among his men who would take him to where Saul is sleeping. And his nephew said, "Let's go." He took his spear and they went. They entered the camp, passed by the men. And they came to where Saul was sleeping. And Abishai said, do you know? Uncle. Do you know, uncle? Allow me to just make one strike. It will combine him to the ground. And because he was a very powerful man, they say he was going to kill 800 men at once. No, no, David, I'm going to tell you, when the Seruya, when the Seruya is going to David, Abishai is going to kill him. Then he said, you people, you love killing people so much. Never strike an anointed one of God. Let me show you what you are going to do. Take his spear and his water bottle. Let's go. When they went across the mountain, David said, David made the scream. And he called out, Abner, the protector of the king. You are supposed to be king and be locked in prison. How can a person kill your master while you are sleeping? And say, take his spear and his water bottle. Then they found truly they have been taken. I only teach the intercessors. When you see your pastors growing weary, they are fallen. The devil has taken their water bottle and all their weapons. And they are only there. You are also supposed to be beaten. The weakness of the pastors is the weariness of the intercessors. Now tell me. How many people pray for their pastors every day? Jesus said the children of the earth are wiser than those of the heaven. When a person is ranked higher in the army, they become a major, maybe. They love escorts, escorting him. Even at home, he has some guards protecting his home. And because this man is growing in ranks, the devil will strike him first. And says we go higher. When you become a pastor, instead of the intercessors praying for you some more, they start watching you. He said, Do you know my pastor? He is a flesh man. Do you know he does not even fast? Do you know my pastor? Even when he is preaching. It's like the weeds passing by. What, what you are supposed to do is to pray for him to receive this power. I'm amazed by watchmen. I have my younger brother. My younger brother from my another father. My cousin. He's not, not from, he's not from my over father. This is my cousin from my uncle. He was a captain of the army. No, no, And he has some escorts, very young men. I don't know what they did. And he bade them up. 
He bathed them up. Then he took his gun and passed on them. Then he said, let's go. Then I asked him, are you normal at the army? How can you do this to people and then give them the guns to follow you? Then they say, you are just a civilian. In the army, when you are supposed to guard your leader, you guard them even though they are bad to you. Even though they have beaten you so much. But for us, an intercessor, an intercessor, and a pastor, they can't be friends. Never. Any intercessor from this church? Okay. I give you a mission today. To organize intercessors to pray for the bishop and other pastors. And during every service, people should find you having casted out the demons and their children. Because this is the work of the intercessors and not the pastors. Even though he's a teacher of the intercessors, but the intercessors protect the church. And I can also, can also come like a general, though it's not easy. He can only come to supervise, but not to sleep over. Amen. Amen. Because we are all at fault. I, I always teach the pastors back home because they're intercessors as well. There are things people tell you normally. A pastor is very humble. One time we found in sitting at the mat with the intercessors. That is not humbleness, but it's doing my work. If you pray at the mat, I'm also supposed to sit at that mat. A general does not go to battle. How will they conquer? We have one job of working. Let me conclude on this one. We shall continue tomorrow. We shall learn two teachings tomorrow. The heart of watchmen. And also the work of the watchmen. I want us to study this diligently. On Saturday we repeat the same. Is there anything new blunt? God bless you so much. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You've given us this work to pray for the church and to pray for the nations and pray for our families. Forgive us because we don't do it perfectly. But I ask you, oh God, plant a seed of praying in our hearts for us to remain for our nation and for our countries and to cry for our families to cry for the church until we see a transformation. Raise intercessors. Clothe them with power. Fill them with the spirit of pleading and to understand. Your servant Paul said, I pray for them to receive the knowledge and revelation to know the glory of the future and to know the power in us who believe in him and do it the same for us let these days be days of blessing and the prayers from this week 
azakore mu ijuru let them touch heaven abantu ibisubizo and bring down answers ubwoko bwa buhabwe umugisha let your tribe be blessed ubwoko bwa ubugirirwe neza nawe let your tribe be blessed by you kandi siyo simenye ko twasenze and let the whole world know that you are praying mu izina rya mwami wa Jesus Christ the name of Jesus Christ our lord amen amen